And now to a startling new report from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. They are predicting that by the year 2050, sea le the sea level along U.S. coastlines will rise by as much as one foot. They're also predicting the levels will increase as much in the next 30 years as they did over the past century, no matter what is done now to combat climate change. We're going to show you specifically what's predicted for South Florida, but let's start with CBS4's Bradley Blackburn in Long Beach Island, New Jersey. Along the Jersey Shore, new homes are being built on pilings to protect against flooding. So the water would run underneath. Chris Hines is a builder who has lived on Long Beach Island his whole life. Oh, the water's coming up high again. He says flooding like this has become more frequent. You can see over the years that the flooding has gotten worse in our area uh, by far. A new federal report predicts sea levels around the United States will rise up to a foot on average over the next 30 years because of climate change caused in part by greenhouse gas emissions. The report also predicts that by 2050, moderate flooding, the kind that typically damages property, will occur 10 times more often. Single flooding event, one that now happens every four to five years on average in coastal communities in the southeast United States, will occur four to five times per year. It's not just a concern during storms. The report says that rising sea levels are also leading to an increase in something called nuisance flooding, which can happen from high tides alone. When you have a full moon, a high tide and rains, you're getting floods and worse than we'd ever gotten over the past couple of years. I've seen the real difference in the past five years personally. Government scientists say if we don't curb future emissions, sea levels will likely keep rising, possibly up to another two feet by the end of this century. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, Long Beach Island, New Jersey. And this report from NOAA has specific projections about South Florida. Yeah, we spoke with NOAA scientist William Sweet, who tells CBS4 that we could see a foot of sea level rise in the next 30 years. So what is now mostly disruptive is going to become uh, damaging to infrastructure and commerce unless more action is taken. Uh, it's a difficult place to, um, to deal with sea level rise because you have ground water changes, you have fresh water changes, and all this is being highly regulated by the South Florida Water Management District, who uh, is in charge of making sure when it rains, water gets out, but the tidal flows aren't coming in. So in short, uh, unfortunately, uh, what we are predicting to occur is more flooding, and it's going to become deeper and more widespread. NOAA sent out these images of South Florida showing what will happen in the upcoming decades when sea levels rise. Here you can see the current sea levels. Now watch with me as you just saw all that light blue resembling the rising water taking over South Miami-Dade and parts of Aventura. That's with a one foot rise in sea level. Now to two feet and the rising water hits Florida City. Also, Hollywood starts seeing water impacting its beaches. And three feet in, there's no shot. You can travel to the Keys at that point. Miami Beach starting to go underwater in this scenario as well. And Dania Beach hit hard, according to these projections. Finally, four feet of sea level rise. Key Biscayne would be almost wiped out. Fort Lauderdale Beach would see lots of underwater area, uh, areas underwater. And the same for inland Broward, especially Silver Lakes. Big boats and big spending. CBS 4 News at 7 continues in just a minute.